First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat, Budash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great Mosul who will will and who has the 100% truth. This is for the hopeful elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckle birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth that mingle within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. Again, this is for the whole four elect, the 144,000 ruling government, government of men along with the men, women, and the children that make up the one-third elect of the elect, the elect of Israel, which will make it out of here when the Heavenly Father Yahweh's indignation is come. And that's those thermonuclear missiles. As you know, Elder, Elder Apostle, a great millstone coined 2024 the year of Jacob's trouble coming to pass. Hopefully coming to pass. And that's what we all hope for. And with that, let's get into the lesson. It's basically about how this kingdom, this wicked kingdom, Esau, Edom, that he's ruling today is on its way out and getting ready to be transferred over to a righteous kingdom, okay? Which is of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to rule this kingdom to come right here on earth under our king, King David. After that, the 144,000 ruling government of Israel, which will be men, Then, the, which is included the one third men, women, and children. It's going to be saved off out of here with the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's indignation to thermonuclear missiles hit. Okay. So, with that, I have some notes. Okay, and I. Let me do this again. And it's going to be a short one. And I started out. I started out with uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Okay, so. Let's get that. This is a book of Ecclesiastes. Three and one, and it reads, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Okay? This kingdom is getting plucked up piece by piece from the inside out. This kingdom is which is run by Esau, Edom. The wicked. You can find that in Job 9, chapter in the 24th verse explains itself. Okay? Their time has run out. Verse 2, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Okay? We're building up our faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai right now. Because it's going to be a famine of the world soon when all hell break loose as soon as they implement Revelation 13, 16 and Korah with the sea hip. And if you take it, Revelation 14, 9 or die, you will be destroyed by those thermonuclear missiles, okay? And we'll know that you have taken it. You go to Revelation 16, okay? One on down because you're going to get a cancerous, a cancerous sore on you. And it's going to burn you up from the inside out first. 
okay? That cancer is going to eat away at you. Those are all the punishments, the judgments that's coming on you who took the sea hip, okay? A time to kill, the third verse, a time to kill, and a time to heal. The elect right now is being healed. By what? By the word of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh. So I'm being watched with the word every day. Getting prepared. A time to break down, a time to build up. The scriptures are being broken down to us. We're learning them from apostles and elders, the great millstone on down, teachers on down. Okay? And we're edifying the sheep to the best of our ability. With the true names of the Heavenly the Most High and the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. A time to weep and a time to laugh. Still people out there right now laughing now, okay? Well, they got their consolation. They're going to cry later. A time to mourn and a time to dance. It's not, we're not in the time of dancing yet. This is not our rest, okay? Time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. I'm trying to embrace. We're embracing our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We're embracing these holy scriptures, teaching us how to walk in the Spirit. Okay? And a time to refrain from embracing. Once we get this word, being washed by the word, being healed by the word, going out there in the highways and byways, teaching, even with these video epistles. It's gonna become a fam. It's gonna come a famine of the word. Amen. Eight and eleven. We're no longer gonna be out there. We're no longer gonna embrace and embrace to go out there. So the rest of you won't get this message because it's gonna be a famine of the word. They're working on that right now. So verse six, a time to get. It's a time to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Isaiah thirty-three and six. Okay, but you have to fear the heavenly Father first and foremost to get it. And a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away. Okay? And with that, we get to the notes. Okay? It's going to be quick. I read you Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Because it's going to be a time like no other, which is Jacob's trouble. Okay? This kingdom is falling down. But before it falls down, it's going to be a lot of hell going on because this devil knows he has a short time. Revelation 12 and 12, okay? Even though a lot of these people, other Edomites, that's you so-called white men, originally self-proclaimed white men, originally Lee Bacon families, and his seed, okay? And even the rest of the heathen nations knows that Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, they know that America is weak, okay, and getting ready to fall. Everyone sees the same, okay, of a once prideful people, a prideful nation. You see what's going on in the land they call theirs, right? And also the turmoil was happening all over the planet with hot spots everywhere, wars and rumors of wars. They're started by the wicked, okay? Job 9, 24, are given to the hands of the wicked. Pull that scripture up. Habakkuk 2. And four, through the seventh verse, behold, his soul which is lifted up, it's not a right in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Who is the just? The just are the ones of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites, in which the Bible speaks of, the elect, the hopeful elect on this side, who came back to, to the Holy Scriptures, came back to how we are supposed to walk. Came back to our customs, okay? Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. That's who, whose soul is lifted up right now? He saw Edom. His pride, okay? But the just, which is us, the Hebrew Israelites, the ones that repented, came back and doing the work to the best of their ability, okay? We will live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Yeah, also because he transgressed by why he's a proud man, okay? That wine is the philosophies, which the other nations picked up. You still got Jake out there, okay, that has this 
brother with that same philosophy, that Esau Edom, okay? They're still celebrating Christmas, birthdays, that mother queen spirit. They stay infeminate. Don't talk about you, Jake. You two thirds, but you'll be destroyed for that, okay? Yeah, also because he transgressed by why? His political system, his 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 policies, okay? He's a proud man, neither keep it at home. Who will lodge it, his desire as hell. Wherever he go is death. Wherever he goes is death. Okay? He got houses in every country. I'll call them embassies. Okay, safe houses in every country. And wherever his house is at, is death. And what's that? A planet of the age? He called him the harbinger of death. Of death. The harbinger of death. Okay? And cannot be satisfied by gathering into, into him all nations and heap it unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Whoa, which means destruction. To him that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that let it himself with thick clay. It's that money debt. Okay? Everybody owe. Owe to who? To him. Okay? And these nations are mad. And they're isolating this place, okay? Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vest thee? They're waking up to Esau Edom's BS. They see and know, okay? No more hiding. And thou shalt be for booties unto them. Pirate, the booties, the gold. That's what that means. The booties, the gold, the silver. They're going to be coming over here, taking what Esau Edom Esau has. Because he's so wicked. Anybody join with the wicked hand in hand, you're going to be judged too. Okay? Because this is a nation, this is a nation of degenerates. They create laws to pass. They create laws to pass on to you. Okay? They don't want you to break them, but yet themselves, they break them. They are hypocrites. And, only, and hypocrites only means actors. Okay? That's what it means, actors. Psalms 15, 16 to the 18 verse. But unto the wicked, the Most High Yahweh said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing that thou hatest instruction, seeing thou hatest instruction, and casted my words behind thee, when thou saw us a thief, then thou consentest with them, and has been partaker with adulterers. So they make the laws, but yet they're hypocrites. Just like Cain, he knew he's supposed to, uh, what, what sacrifice to offer to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. He knew. As Abel did, right? Abel offered the righteous sacrifice, but Cain was just the so-called white man, self-proclaimed white man, today he saw Edom. He knew to offer the right sacrifice, but he didn't. He offered a corrupt sacrifice. So what did he do? He stained his brother, Abel, in the day that translates it. He saw Edom. He saw Jacob. He saw the wicked Jacob the right. The just. But unto the wicked, the most high Yahweh said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and cast up my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with them, and hast been partakers with adulterers. For instance, what's his name? I'm going to call him Freakstein. His files were open the other day, and was prominent people. And this wicked society will call, okay? We're so, you know, they, their names were, were linked to him. To Freakstein. Their names were linked to him. Okay? So that right there is saying for spewing. I've seen, I've seen hits on social media that is telling this place, man, y'all, PD files, okay? A nation of PD files, all right? 
That's another spot of shame for Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, spiritual silence, spiritual Egypt. Okay? The shame is bringing America, Babylon the Great, down in his innocence. The spirit of power, Yahweh, Pahashim, Yahweh, Shah, a cock of dust. You eat them much and all you heathen nations are all hypocrites, which means actors. That's what the name hypocrite means, actors. Okay, you act like you're doing things that's righteous, but you're not. Behind closed doors, you're making these perverse laws that goes against everything of Yahweh, Pahashim, Yahweh, Shah. You cover the faces of the just you blaspheme. The names of Yahweh Pash and Yahweh Shah. So that righteous indignation is coming from our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah when he comes. This place will be destroyed. Babylon the Great. Also, the land over there in which you say, say it are yours. Even you other nations say this there. Uh, sure, we got remnants over there, but they shouldn't have been over there in the first place. Okay, because that's why we wait on our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah to come, all right? Your shame is bringing America, Babylon the Great, down in this. All in the power, spirit, power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shab, Bashem, Kat, Kunash. You the mice and all you heathen nations are all hypocrites, which means actors. We are all b back in our lots. Prophets are also back, okay? Prophesying of downfall of this wicked kingdom. Okay, Habakkuk 2 and 12 to the 14 verse. Well, to him that built the town with blood and established the city by iniquity. That's by sin, okay? Behold, it is not of the most high Yahweh of hosts. That the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, as the waters cover the sea. This place is filled with the glory, okay? You can look around and see the glory of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. But also the prophets, okay? With the wisdom, not the understanding of these scriptures, he's bringing it up, okay? He's warning. The prophet is warning the people, his people first, and he's warning the downfall, warning of the, giving the down, warning of the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Okay? For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Holy Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. The wicked done this first with us, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. What they do? They build a child with blood, but they done it first with us. Okay? so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? They came into our land and destroyed it, okay? Took it by blood. Bought us over here in the Chancellor of Slave Trade. They still killed us. They came, but see, the Northern Kingdom was over here first. You know, the second entrance 13 chapter, okay? For that, they were over here first. And none of we can have branched out with his pride, okay, over the other nations. That's why this place is being isolated for the indignation of the enemy for the Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh. So those thermonuclear missiles. But they're staging now, okay? Psalm 37, 34 to 36. Wait on the heavenly father Yahweh and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land which they stole, which they say are there your stairs. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, which means, look, he was not. Yeah, I sought him, but he could not be found. So his, his time is ending. Okay, we just have to wait on our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, okay? To the elect of Israel, we will wait on Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, In due time, this devil's reign will end. And you see it's ending now, all right? Psalm 37, 34. Wait on the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and keep his way. He shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off. Thou shalt see it. And that's what we're waiting for, to see this. Okay? We're seeing it now. But the goal is salvation. The goal is to want to see this place looking down in the ozone level while this place is getting destroyed. Okay? By those thermonuclear missiles. Psalm 37, 35 to 36. I have seen the wicked and great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away and low. He was not. Yeah, I sought him, but he could not be found. This is the most high Yahweh's movie, okay? We are all actors. The stars are Israel, which are the chosen from the seed of their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The prophets are back as well, prophesying the downfall of America, Babylon, the great spiritual Solomon, and Egypt. With that, state kingdom, my name, okay? Luke 17, 20, 21. 
And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh shall come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of the Most High Yahweh cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo, which means look here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh is within you. So we have to stay kingdom minded, okay? We have to continue to go out on the highways and byways to do the, the things that we ought to do as the hopeful elect on this side. We, we, we say the hopeful elect, but we haven't been said out of here yet. And we're being kingdom minded, though, by standing upon these holy scriptures, okay? And walking to the best of our ability at the righteousness of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. We can't keep the laws perfect. Because we're in these bodies. These bodies are corrupt. These people are corrupt. The clothes, water, the air. But we do everything to the best of our ability. We willingly do not sin. Okay? We don't willingly sin, brother. Luke 17, 20. We have to be kingdom minded. Luke 21st verse. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh shall come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of the heavenly father Yahweh coming not with observation neither shall they say lo here or lo there for behold the kingdom of the most high Yahweh is within you so the kingdom is within us kingdom mindset because this place is coming to an end quick and with that the water to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to bring this out call hello and lie Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem and that will honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will well and who has 100% truth. And with that, Salawama.